Hi, so this is an instructional video on how to insert spinnies into the sediment. So here's your spinny fibers is placed inside house inside a mesh envelope that's just folded. And there are four segments of two and a half long spinny fibers. And the sediment is very uh, fluffy easy to just insert the envelope into the sediment but if the sediment is a bit compact uh, you force the envelope into it you're going to break the uh, brittle fibers while you're doing that so we're going to use a spatula and create a groove where we can insert the sediment the envelope so just working with the spatula Make a groove in the middle by just pushing the sediment aside and then put that groove over in there you can more gently push the envelope into the sediment. Since the fibers are supposed to be in the bottom half, bottom part of the envelope, they should all be in the sediment once most of the envelope is pushed into the sediment. So you can use your finger, make sure the top of the envelope is somewhat flush with the, uh, the sediment surface. So that was pretty much it. There might be a little bit of envelope sticking up, but that will be fine. It's a little cloudy so you can't see it, but the envelope is uh, mostly pushed into the set. Now it's instructional video on how to retrieve spinnies from inside the sediment in the beaker. So we're going to remove the uh, mesh envelope collect the spinnies from the envelope, clean them, and place them into glass inserts that go inside Templar vials. So, using a forcet, you pick up the envelope, remove it from the, the beaker, you rinse all the sediment from inside the envelope and you can make a visual assessment here I see that all four fibers are pretty much intact they did not break in the process of uh, being inserted to the sediment in the beaker. Oh, there's a little bit, still a little bit of mud in the envelope. I'm going to clean it up. Carefully open the envelope. So using plastic forceps, I will gently pick up the fiber, which will be four. So it looks like uh, we didn't have any broken fibers here. Uh, if you see broken fibers, you want to 
measure them because we expect we deployed four two and a half centimeter fibers so we need to retrieve ten centimeters worth of fibers so you can uh, just verify that they are uh, that the total length is ten centimeters by using a ruler placed next to the fiber. So then once you have all the fibers on your paper towel, you want to uh, clean them up a little better and place them on thin white paper to dry. Rinse them out. Okay, just When you place them inside the glass insert, inside a sample vial. can break the fiber. If we lost a little bit here, uh, just make sure they're all, that might have been a little, this should be a two and a half centimeter fiber should fit in here. Might have had a fiber that was a little bit longer than that. So either you um, close the vial without adding any solvent, then you should use a screw cap. And then use parafilm to make sure it's properly sealed. Or if you are uh, going to extract them right away, then you would add uh, to your uh, hexane to the full content of this insert. It's about a little less than 200 microliters, about 180 microliters of hexane. But it's in the sample vial. Of course, you would use, uh, you, you would determine that and you would add a known and fixed amount of solvent to extract the pipe. And then you're ready to go.